for you guys. So this one is going to be on transposing. So moving songs from one key to another or kind of changing it to a different instrument if you want to. You want it that way too. Um, so for an example, we're going to use the song Live High. So when I first like learned the song, uh, I learned it in the key of A. And it was way too high for me because Jason Mraz is an amazing singer. And I couldn't quite match him. So what I did was I changed the key down to G. So I moved it from A to G. And then that way I was able to sing it in my voice. Like it fit my voice better. So that's one of the benefits of uh, transposing. Is that you can change the key of the song to something that you can sing more naturally. So you're not like stressing your voice. Transposing is really easy. Um, if you can count, you can basically transpose, uh, but you have to count musically. Um, so understanding the chromatic scale is really helpful for this, but if you don't, I mean a basic refresher for you, there's probably some other things you could see that would be better for it. But okay, so this is starting at A and going down the scale. So you have A and then it goes to G sharp and then G, so there's two steps between A and G, and then you have an F sharp, and then an F, so there's two steps between F and uh, F and G, but then there's only one step between F and E, and then it continues down the scale, again there's only one step between B and C, and just keeps going down until it repeats itself um, once you get to A again, um, and then you go to G. So. Basically, if you keep that in mind, uh, transposing is really easy. So if we use live high as an example, uh, the original chords you start out with are A, C sharp minor, B minor, and D minor. Okay, And then to transpose that down, you just go to G. So you bring the A, the root note of the chord, you bring that down. And so then A goes to G, C sharp minor goes to B minor, B sharp minor goes to A minor, and D minor goes to C minor. So an important thing to notice is that I'm, you know, you keep the the format of the chord, you keep the the um, style of the chord the same as you move it down. So if it's a major chord, you keep it a major chord, even though you're moving the root note. Um, if it's a minor chord, you keep it that. If it's a seventh chord, you keep it that. Diminish seventh chord to keep it that. So whenever you're transposing, just keep the same format of the chord. Um, just move the root note, and that's it. Okay. So again, using live high as an example. So it starts out. Uh, the original is. because it fits my voice better, it starts in G, so it goes G, and then B minor, and then down to A, and then up to C minor. And see, it sounds a little different, but it's still kind of the same feeling. There'll be some people that'll notice that it's in the wrong key, but I mean, you can sing it a lot better. It's a lot easier if it's, you know, fit to your voice. So, um, basically to test yourself, let's say you wanted to move it down two more chords, or two more keys. So you wanted to go from A, you wanted to go down four, you wanted to transpose down four keys. So you'd start at A, and you'd go down the chromatic scale four times, and that would bring you to F. So the first chord would be F, okay? And then you'd go to an A minor, because you're moving from that C sharp minor down four, and that's an A minor. And then you would move uh, down to a, uh, a G minor, or a G minor, because that would be four down from the um, B minor chord. Yep. And then your last chord is going to be an A sharp minor, because that's four down from the D minor. So what that would sound like is like this. Sounds a little different, might sound a little goofy to you, but
but um, it'll make singing it a lot easier. And you can do this with any song. Just take any chord and make sure that you transpose all the chords down the same amount. Just the root. Alright, so there's my tutorial on transposing. I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, like I said, it's really simple once you get the basic concept of it. It's just counting down the chromatic scale. Um, it was really helpful to me, I know, because I could finally sing the songs that I wanted to. You know, there's a lot of times where there's a song that's outside your range, and all you need to do is just change the key and bring it down into something that is your range. So, yeah, I mean, if there's ever a song that you have tried to sing and you just can't, just try this out now and see how it works for you. Just move it down a couple keys and you'll probably be able to sing it. Alright, thanks. Yep, take care.